You are not forgotten. Those are the words from President Obama today as he signed legislation to help bring an end to a suicide epidemic among military service members and veterans. ABC 7 senior political reporter Scott Thuman explains the legislation and has the story of the Marine who inspired it. Maybe if I share my story, I can help someone else in me and continue the legacy of my best friend. Abby Malko's story is a difficult one to tell. After getting home from Iraq, one of her Navy colleagues almost immediately hanged himself. And then uh, my best friend, JD, passed away in March, just two months later. And also from, also from suicide. It was the most horrifying thing when the police call at 2 a.m. to tell you they found him dead. So. That is why she and thousands of other veterans began a different battle, one on Capitol Hill, to pass the Clay Hunt Save Act. Named after a Marine who'd served in Iraq and Afghanistan, been through the worst, and upon returning home, sought help. But after waiting lists and lack of personal attention, could no longer handle it. He, too, killed himself. It is too late for Clay, but we can help. We can save the other vets. So together, they pushed for a one-stop website for all the resources they'd need, a program paying off loans of psychiatric students who commit to working with veterans, a peer support program, and annual reviews of the VA system for suicide prevention. The bill and its roughly $22 million price tag passed in a rare moment of Washington agreement. And this law will not bring Clay back as much as we wish it would. But the reforms that it puts in place would have helped. And today, with Clay's parents beside the president and Abby in the audience, a significant, overwhelming reason to smile. It makes me so happy because I know I've done something just a little bit. Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News. Thank you, Scott.